feel like uh, you're home? Yeah, um, yeah, it's quite quite surreal the experience. I've been back here um, at Belmore where it all started, but yeah, it's it's been cool. It's been cool. I mean, walking in here, a lot's changed um, since I left, and for the better. So look, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be back here at the Bulldogs, and yeah, looking forward to what's ahead. What's changed? I just feel like you know the vibe. Like when you walk in, um, when I first walked in a few weeks ago just to meet um, Cameron and all the boys was was pretty cool and just that that energy you get off them it's all positive um, you know they're going somewhere like we're going somewhere here so it was it was pretty cool to walk in and, and feel that um, energy and um, yeah just looking forward to adding some value to that as well. What was the main reason you wanted to come back what, what was the number one reason? Yeah well I mean um, you know like it's been pretty public um, the Warriors couldn't offer me an extension and look I um my wife was heavily pregnant at, the, at, at, at that moment and we had to make a decision that was best for um, you know, my wife and our family, or our future family. And yeah, so to come back to Sydney was important for us, but um, look, like to be able to come back to a club where it all started for myself is, is pretty special. And I'm just grateful that um, Sarah and Gus um, seen, seen potential in me uh, to give me the opportunity to come back here. And I believe you've had some good news um, on the home front. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, my wife, my beautiful wife gave birth to our twin girls on Friday. So it's, um, yeah, it, bro, it's, um, it's pretty cool, eh? Like, yeah, like it's something that, um, yeah, I like to get emotional about it. But yeah, my wife, she's a beast, bro. Like, <laughs> she, um, she pushed it, bro, she pushed them both out. So it's like, and, and to see that, uh, to see that live, it's, it just changes your life. Um, you know, there's more to footy. That's what I realise. Like everything, my whole career has been about footy. I've been so selfish. Um, but yeah, to see my girls come on um, Friday was cool. And the respect and love you have for your wife? Oh, it just doubles, bro. Like just amplifies. Um, yeah, she means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah. I can see how emotional you're getting. Yeah, it's cool, bro. Yeah. I can't speak on the Warriors' behalf at all, but to come back and now have a family and know that the Bulldogs are a real family club and, and yeah. Yeah, you've now got your twin girls. How important is that? Yeah, I mean, like I said before, it's this club um, means a lot to me. Um, and like you said, like to have my wife um, here and my, and my girls and now, and, and both our families here, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I just, like, yeah, like I just want to come here and um, learn. Like, I don't want to just come here and be stagnant in, in my career. Um, I still feel like I've got a lot to give, but also I still feel like I've got a, got a lot to learn. I've always been uh, real coachable, like I don't want to come here and just think I know it all because I don't. Um, yeah, I just want to come here and learn off the best. I know Sierra's a great coach, seeing what the boy's done in the past couple of seasons. You know, Gus is a legend um, and he's been so supportive uh, to me and my wife um, coming over to uh, back to the Bulldogs. So, yeah, I don't want to come here and um, be stagnant. I want to come here and learn. I want to give the best I can every day. For my um, for my girls and my wife, yeah. The club's lost Josh Ade Carr. Um, I guess yeah, you know, you're a winger coming back in. It's yeah. people are going to say you're stepping in a lot, a lot of ways in his shoes. Yeah, look, and like I don't want to disrespect um, Josh. You know, look, the Fox is an unbelievable player. Like he's he played Origin, he played for Australia. Um, he's done it all in the game. He's won a comp, um, and he's a true champion. Um, you know, we I got to speak to him. Um, you know, when it all unfolded, and um, just said how much respect I had for him. You know, he's, he leaves a massive hole in this club, leaving, you know, um, the fan base loved him. You know, he brought a lot of value to this club. So, like, I'm not trying to come here and replace that. I'm, I'm trying to come here and just be myself um, and just put my best foot forward. And the way you play is very much modern winger, like with a lot of um, physicality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a lot different, um, but it's, it's something I enjoy. Um, I love putting my body in the line for my teammates and, and now that I'm able to don that jersey again, uh, the Bulldogs jersey, and, 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 and to be able to represent, um, you know, the, the passionate fan base, um, you know, my teammates, my family, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. Seeing that and speaking about the, the passionate fan base, I know you had the Warriors last season, but did you watch and see just how much this community rallied around this side, making finals for the first time in eight years? Yeah, for sure, and and for me it was pretty cool to watch. Um, you know, I we were in the off season because um, like we didn't make finals, so you know I was actually I was actually back in the boys. Obviously, now a few of the boys here also. Um, you know, in that final when they lost to Manly, it was it was quite upsetting because I thought they deserved to win. You know, they played really tough and they hung in there the whole game. Um, but 
obviously fell short in the end. But yeah, seeing uh, seeing the supporter base just back them, you know, it, it's been cool. I mean, I, I think I've seen a few um, videos of of Belmore of Belmore Road packed. So it's um, it's exciting to be a part of that. You know, I understand I'm walking into that now, but um, yeah, look, I'm looking forward to it. On a generic like team level, obviously seeing the dogs make the finals last year, do you feel like you're joining something special, like a yeah, for sure. Um, and so I've got to respect that. You know, you've got to come in and, and respect what the boys have done, what the coaching staff has done. You don't just walk in and, um, you know, and, and get all those accolades. You've got to work hard every day, you know, to achieve that again. And I do understand that the NRL is a tough competition just because you've done it. Like, um, this year doesn't mean you're going to do it next year. You've got to work even harder to be able to get back to that position to, uh, to take that next step. So, but yeah, I'm looking forward to um, to being on that journey with the boys. You know, like I said before, the boys are all champions. Um, really welcoming to myself, and yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with them. So you grew up as a Bulldogs fan, is that what it was? Or? Yeah, I did as well. Then yeah, I um, I supported the Dogs when I was a young young fella, and yeah, I just because my favourite colour is blue, so that's <laughs> that's why. Um, but then as I got watching, I, I love watching them play. Um, my favourite player was Luke Patton, so. Yeah, I love the club always from a young age, and then so to be able to play for a club, you know, when you're a young fella, uh, supporting them is a dream come true.